Hello everyone. As you can see, I've got Windows Phone 7 running on my HTC Desire Z. Ta-da! Well, not really. This is a launcher. This is a Android launcher that mimics the Windows Phone 7 Metro UI. I say they did quite a good job because it quite emulates the Windows Phone 7 UI. They even included an option to change the notifications bar, the status bar to a Windows Phone 7 style. And yeah, let's take a look at the settings for Launcher 7. As you can see, with the moment I go into the settings, the status bar reverts back to the Android one. Under settings, we have lots of stuff. We can change various things. Under here, the status bar options. We can see that we get to choose to use the Windows Phone 7 style status bar or not. Then the application drawer, we get to choose whether the Android launcher style or Windows Phone 7. As you can see, this is the application list. If we change it to the Android one, we should be able to see this. There's quite a bit of space wasted here on the left hand side if you were to choose this mode. So I would actually revert this back to the Windows Phone 7 style. Now, the launcher itself doesn't make all apps look like Windows Phone 7, but there are apps out there that help make the whole interface look more like Windows Phone 7. For example, this music app that is made by the creator of Launcher Pro. Um, you can um, it's not in the market yet. You can find it in XDA under Feeds Music App. As you can see, the whole interface is very fluid. Makes it feel exactly like Windows Phone 7. And also, you can you have the option to download the Windows Phone 7 style lock screen like so even has the bounce effect now the Windows Phone 7 lock screen is available in the Android market for free under WP7 lock this is the free version as you can see, there are a lot of features that are unavailable unless you buy the paid version. You would need to enable the WP7 lock here first before you actually get to see the lock screen. There are other settings where you get to choose the system background, transparent background or the background color and stuff. That is to make the whole Windows Phone 7 UI more complete. This Launcher 7 version is the free version, which has an app down here. And this is the Feeds Music app that I talked about earlier. You can use this without the Launcher 7 installed, as well as the the Windows Phone 7 lock here as in they work independent of each other even you have even if you have Launcher Pro you can use this lock as well now the thing about Launcher 7 is that the tiles don't get any larger than 2 by 1 like, like these are my widgets that I purposely move down just so I can show you all the Windows Phone 7 UI. These are Android widgets, beautiful widget here. 
this is the two by one version this is the two by one version as well and these are this is the power control stuff let's see if we want to add the widget let's say we want to add something larger than a 2 by 4 by 1 let's say 4 by 2 the tile size the largest tile size is 2 by 1 and let's put it to full size let's put it to full tile widget and create tile and as you can see the widget is not exactly perfect or desired yeah and let's say if you want to create something like this you can go to the app drawer let's say you want to make a shortcut for paper toss you pin it to home screen and you ask all the relevant stuff and you need to click to add tile and it will show up here the options for individual tiles as you saw just now are so you get to change what it goes to the color and or you can choose to go for the team color which follows whatever team color you selected for the launcher the icon tiles option and you have to click modify tile for the notifications bar if you pull down you will automatically see the original android one this has been modified as you can see I changed it to black let's use the team color modify tile and it goes back If you want to rearrange your tiles, you hold on to it, drag it up, place it here, and tap on back, and it should go up like so. Let's do it again, like so. What if you are to change? What if you are to shift a one by one tile? You hold on to it as well. Move it up. Like so. And of course you can change a lot of things for Windows 7. Hey, Launcher 7. Let's say you want to change the tile color. Let's make it black. And you can see everything is like very simplistic. We can you have the option to change the wallpaper. Let's say we want to use the system wallpaper. Launcher 7 also does one thing that the original Metro UI on Windows Phone 7 doesn't, which is rotation. As you can see, as I rotate. everything rotates together other than the 2x1 widgets or 2x1 tiles because they, they just don't rotate like so <coughs> overall I think Launcher 7 is good for anyone who wants the freshness of the Metro UI found in Windows Phone 7 but they still want to use an Android phone That's it for the video. Thanks for watching.